continue from there. It has been said. At the end of 24 years, in the Shukla Paksh of Mag month, Mahaprabhu accepted sannyas. So those who are writing, so if they can remember, they should write properly. They should make the notes that till 24 years, Mahaprabhu stayed in Navadvip and then he accepted sannyas. But in which month did he accept sannyas? So just remember this. Mag Mas. Right now, what's going on? Not as per English calendar, but as per Hindi calendar. After a grand comes Mag Mas, which, which is called January. So the Shukla Paksh of Magmas. There are two sides, two Paksh. One is Krishna Paksh and another is Gaur Shukla Paksh. So Mahaprabhu accepted sannyas in Shukla Paksh. So everyone just learn this. If anyone asks you that who accepted, uh, when did Mahaprabhu accepted sannyas? It's in the uh, Mag month Shukla Paksh. And then Sanyasa Kori Prema Vesh Chalila Vrindavan. Rad Deshe Tina Dina Karila Brahma. After accepting Sanyas, Mahaprabhu, in complete absorption of love, he went towards Vrindavan. But he was just wandering in Rad Desh only. He wanted to go to Vrindavan, but he was wandering into Vrindavan, uh, into Rad Desh. And in Radesh also, the place called Shantipur, Advaita Charaji's place. So Mahaprabhu started residing there itself. So you all who are hearing this Katha, just hear this properly for 7-10 days. And after that, we will have examination. I have a teacher. She used to make questions also previously. So I'll contact her and she will make a quiz. And then from everyone, I'll have question answer session. So those who will get good marks, they will get a big round of applause. And those who will get bad marks, they will have to give a feast, prasadam. Hare Krishna. <laughs> so deal is done. <laughs> So now here, understand this properly. The day a person becomes completely renounced from the sansar, this material world, this material life, at that day he will accept sannyas. So this has been clearly written in Srimad Bhagavatam. See. If a person is accepting the sannyas dress but does not have virakti, does not, ha does not have renunciation from the material life, then it means that the sannyas is not yet complete. He just has got some admission in the school of sannyas. For example, uh, we say that, oh, our diksha got fulfilled. We have taken initiation from a particular guru so all guru vargas are worshipable so one say that oh our diksha is complete we have already taken mantras see after taking all the mantras it is not necessary that one has finished or one has really completed his initiation actually initiation is very high class thing at the time of diksha the devotee actually surrenders one's own self completely to Guruji. And there, he does not have any kind of independence. Whatever Guruji will say, he will follow that. And that Diksha, what time it will get fulfilled? It will be uh, like complete. 
it takes so many births to just get this diksha completed see right now we are hearing the sanyas tattva of mahaprabhu but before that first understand the meaning of diksha what to speak of understanding sanyas at the time of diksha a disciple actually he surrenders one own self surrenders by body mind words to his gurudev now everyone has different proportion not everyone can be of same level same things everyone's body mind words how much it is surrendered does we even ask guruji that oh guruji are you well are you even alive oh yes on the day of guru purnima we just message once that oh gurudev we pay obeisances to you our gurudev used to tell that this is not the real relationship with gurudev just coming once in a year on guru purnima paying obeisances offering some flowers giving some clothes that's it this is guru purnima no not having even any kind of news oh where is guruji where is guruji how is guruji not like this not these kind of uh, news not these kind of dealings dealings are, like the disciple should think that how can i serve mahaprabhu on my gurudev i am in household life i am a brahmachari i am a sanyasi oh gurudev you please give me path and as per my qualification engage me in the service of mahaprabhu may i be able to do that that's it so think like this focusing on this understanding we should pay obeisances we should pray see this service is not something forceful actually one have to beg like a beggar that oh please give me service please give me some service please take some service from me so like this when each each step of bhakti gets uplifted and one marches forward towards each step shraddha and all the seven stages and when the stage of prem comes the stage of love comes now it means that the diksha is somehow slowly slowly getting completed until one does not attain the service of radha krishna completely the service of the lotus feet of radha krishna that radha krishna who is our worshipable when clearly in real one attains the service of the lotus feet of radha krishna at that day at that time our diksha gets completed before that we are just trying we are just trying that may our initiation get fulfilled get completed so in the same way a brahmachari a grahastha a vanaprastha or a sanyasi also entering into this ashram doesn't mean that this ashram has you have completed that uh degree no you have actually got admitted in that ashram so in the same way accepting sanyas means that one has accepted this admission in sanyas ashram and the real sanyas will happen that day when a person will have real renunciation from the material life and it is very important to get renunciation renunciation what is the meaning of renunciation it is just that i will leave everything and i'll go to vrindavan no it's not just that there are so many people wandering in the streets of vrindavan they ask hey, from where you are oh i came from punjab i came from this state of india that state of india so so many people from different states have come and they are wandering on the streets of vrindavan and they say oh while doing parikrama of vrindavan instead of chanting the holy name on the beads they start just gossiping that oh why i have come to vrindavan you know my children were not listening to me my children they just threw me out of my own house and uh, but my mind is always absorbed towards my children grandchildren now another person says oh i also have some similar situation i also got fight with my wife that's why i'm here so everyone is having some or other kind of suffering and because of that 
they are coming to vrindavan oh i have got renunciation from the material life no this is not ren renunciation see if the goal of renunciation is not clear then that's not real ren renunciation what should i tell more in vrindavan there are so many sanyasis who have actually accepted sanyas you know why because when they will sit for some feast then they will be the one who will get served the prasada so for this reason also so many devotees they are accepting sanyas mahaprabhu ji stayed for 24 years in grahastha household life and after that when he accepted sanyas ashram what is the purpose of this understand this without renunciation sanyas has no real purpose renunciation means having a strong kind of detachment now this is gaudiya siddhanta try to understand this if you will not hear these things then uh, a person may really get influenced by anyone and may start following anyone and what will happen will start getting will start jumping in the well of uh, uh inauthentic philosophy so one is markat vairagya palgu vairagya and shamshan vairagya renunciation also there are three different kinds of renunciation what kind of renunciation we have to accept that is yukta vairagya nirbandha krishna sam all things of this material world also is related to krishna even my own body even my own mind even my own words kai man and vakya we say it like body mind and words three things body mind and words serving the lord by body mind and word is called sanyas kai means body kai man vakya kai means body man means mind and vakya means word body mind and words you know what's the short form of it see everyone wants that bmw car should come in our house we should get bmw nice audi car or some very good car what is the meaning of bmw bmw means b means body m means mind and w means words bmw body mind and word kai man and vakya so we all have bmw see we all have body we all have mind also we all have words also so how to actually engage that in the service of the lord that's the game changer see everyone has their own qualification so that's why having renunciation is very important very important avan maharaj ji from iskon shri radhanath maharaj radha govind maharaj i was hearing one lecture of him it was maybe one year back he was speaking a very beautiful thing he is saying that a person really want renunciation or not he does like it or does not like it but ultimately everyone has to reach this level of renunciation we have to get into this domain of renunciation how he said that i'll give you two examples so you don't mind it but this is the reality of our own life so what is that thing understand this everyone likes renunciation he is saying how see you just keep eating a lot keep eating a lot and next day if you do not renounce if you do not sacrifice then how the mind will become are you understanding what we are saying if one gets constipation does anyone like to eat anything nothing looks pleasing that's why at that time then renunciation comes it, it feels blissful so may that person like or not but he is doing renunciation because without it he will get diseased so maharaj ji was laughing giving this example then he gave another example 
suppose you went to some new house you just brought a new house the agent is showing that oh see this is your drawing room this is your bedroom this is kitchen this is lobby this is basement this is lawn this is front yard backyard he show, showed everything but not showed one thing so now you are going to buy the house so the owner is asking agent where is the bathroom the agent says oh there is no bathroom in this house this house is designed in such a way that there is no bathroom you are understanding so will the owner really like to buy this house where there is no bathroom also kitchen is very big bedrooms drawing room everything is perfect but no bathroom so will the owner really buy that house without bathroom cannot have it so this is this this is the place of renunciation without this it is difficult cannot really work without having renunciation so everyone is actually having it in some way so now having proper renunciation from this material life is called sanyas so it's not necessary that one has to be in the sanyas ashram to become renounced a householder can also be like a sanyasi but why mahaprabhu accepted sanyas in navdweep mahaprabhu was there for 24 years he was performing past times for 24 years and he was in household ashram he got married with lakshmi priya he then got married with vishnu priya devi when she, he got married with vishnu priya devi he was not having any kind of affectionate dealings with her he went to gaya got initiation from ishwar puri pa ji and then coming back he became very grave he was no longer a chanchal nimai means a restless nimai so this is the question to be noted that already he was having renunciation from the house also see mahaprabhu he already had renunciation from material life in his household life only when he was in household ashram grahastha ashram so why he had to accept sanyas externally when he was already renounced in his married life also like people also say oh renunciation should be in the heart why to show off why to actually accept all these clothes and everything externally we keep hearing such things from other people so my question is that mahaprabhu also was in grahastha ashram he was in navdweep and day and night he is chanting krishna 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 and he was crying so he was already renounced but even after renunciation why mahaprabhu went to katwa and he accepted sanyas why did he do that this is a question now understand this see when we will make question bank for you then you will have to answer such question so i will keep this question as a suspense if i'll tell you then how will i get your interesting answers and this is also a nice way to learn actually if everything is spoken then its importance its gravity it's lo like lost somewhere so if there is a project and you have to answer it it's like an open book exam then everyone will just try to search how where is the answer how to find it so then a person starts forcing the mind starts thinking so you all understood my question and what will be the answer you meditate on this and then in 2 4 days we'll have question answer session then i last many people already know and those who don't know just meditate just think about it so don't worry oh what if i speak the wrong answer don't worry like this just speak up even if it is wrong don't say stay silent i will ask everyone to come on screen there are around 90 people on screen and i will ask everyone anyone i can ask anyone this question so you should all be ready okay we will move forward now in bhagavad gita it is clearly written it is 
So it is written in Bhagavad Ji that a person hearing Harikatha, having association of Vaishnavas, hearing Harikatha from their mouth, when they develop some kind of renunciation from this material life and they accept sannyas, so they are the best of all beings, all jivas. So this is a shlok from Bhagavad Ji. In this, such beautiful thing has been given. It has been said that Atma Agya Vyakti means the person who really wants to know about his own soul, who wants to know, who is very inquisitive, that who am I and what is my purpose? What is my Swaroop? What is my position? All these questions. So the one who asks all these kind of questions, they are considered as Sumedasa, most intelligent person. Very intelligent. Who am I? This is called Atmagya Vyakti, means who actually thinks about one's own soul. Now, some is Shari Ragya Vyakti. Shari Ragya Vyakti means, oh, what should I eat that my body stays healthy? What should I eat that my uh, eyes, nose, ears should be very perfect? So, now there is third category in which a person starts thinking that what should I do so that my mind stays healthy? Now, in that also, the person does not really uh, use his intelligence. Once I went to the university and there outside university premises, the professors were smoking cigarettes. So they heard the lecture and when the lecture got uh, finished, then they is like coming out and they are smoking cigarettes. And when they were introduced, the introduction about them was like, oh, these professors are very intelligent. They have done PhDs, MPhils, Masters, whatnot. So when they came near me, then I said that you are not intelligent. You don't have any understanding. So what happens if a person who is very respectable in the society, if you just... Um, tell him that he is nothing, then he feels so bad about it. So he said, hey, why you are saying like this? I said, you are smoking cigarette. That's why. They are saying, oh, so what's the problem? Those who smoke cigarettes, are they less intelligent? How will you prove this? I said, see the box that is there inside your pocket. You just bring it out. So now the box of cigarette, on the box itself it is written. Can you read it? Smoking is injurious to health. I said, the company who is selling this, the company himself itself is telling and alerting you. But still, you are not uh, using your intelligence. What is this? So the professor, he got a little embarrassed and restless. So I said that that's why you are not really intelligent. Anyway. These are other things. But the person who is Atmagya, who actually thinks about one's own soul, who thinks about soul, in his mind he is always having a question. What's the question? Athato Brahma Jigyasa. What is Brahma? Or what is Bhagwan? And anyone who asks this question, he is called the most intelligent person, Sumedasa. Sri Sanatana Goswami, he came to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When Sanatana Goswami came near Mahaprabhu, so Sanatana Goswami is asking Mahaprabhu, Ami ke, who am I? So tell me, is this a question? You go to someone and you tell, hey, Prabhu, just wait. 
Oh, person, any any stranger, anyone. Oh, just wait. I want to ask you something. So, if a person is asking this kind of question in this material life, you just ask some stranger on the way, say, "Oh, who am I?" Then they will consider you as a foolish person. But the same question actually is the most intelligent question in spiritual life, because the spiritual life starts from this question that "Who am I? Am I a boy? Am I a girl? Am I a man, woman? Am I a..." Sanyasi, Grahasth, Brahmachari, who am I? Then Mahaprabhu replied, Naham Vipruna cha narpato napi vaishyo na shudro. I am not a Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya or Shudra, neither. I am not a Brahmachari, Grahasth, Vanprasth or Sanyasi. Then who am I? Mahaprabhu is saying, he is establishing this Siddhanta. He is saying, Gopi Bharthuk Pad Kamalayor Dasa Dasa Nu Dasa. I am the servant of the servant of the servant of the gopis whose priyatam is Krishna. So in this shloka, it has been said that Atmagya person who by one's intelligence, who by one's wisdom, not by the mind, not by the mind, above mind is intelligence, by the wisdom. Many times we become unwise and many times we become very wise. As the senses they associate with the mind, the wisdom, the intelligence comes zero. Everything we just forget. And this is with everyone. I'm talking about myself also. But the another thing is Vivek Pramit. Where senses are associating with intelligence, then it becomes perfect. So first is Atma Vyakti. So this is the steps of Sanyas. So first point is that the Atma Vyakti, the person who thinks about one's soul, and then he talks about coming to that level. Then second thing, by one's own wisdom by one's own intelligence or by hearing um, nice thoughts from others. See, 24 hours, does our intelligence stay fixed? Does our mind stay stable? No. Somehow or other, we just catch hold of this mind. We are chanting, we are doing Harinam, we are um, uh, doing Kirtan, hearing Harikatha. Serving Thakurji, doing Shringar, making Bhoga. So we are feeling so nice. But after that, what happens? We sat in the hall, lecture hall, to hear Hari Katha. As soon as, in the end, we say, Nitai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bol. As soon as we go outside the temple, we are of our shoes. What happens? Everything, the influence of that association of that Harikatha just gets finished as soon as we wear the shoes outside the temple. Everything we just heard, we just forget at once. And we just get grasped by the mind. The intelligence now gets subdued. So here it has been said that the Atmagya Vyakti, the person Atmagya, he, either by his own intelligence or by hearing instructions from others, and who others means the authorities. The authorities will give instruction. The senior persons, qualified person will give instruction. We all cannot give instruction. Why? Because we are not authority. Guruji can give instruction. We can advise. We can just give some suggestions. We cannot give instruction. For instructions, there is a level required. So either by one's own intelligence or by others' um, instructions. So is this also fixed that uh, the person who is giving instruction should always be of very high class? Or can we really have instructions from others as well? So there is an example for this. Shri Bilva Mangal Thakur, from whom did he accepted Instructions. So, Shri Bilbamangal Thakur was attached to a prostitute. 
until he does not meet her every day he used to be very restless every day he has to meet her this prostitute but once what that prostitute said she said for this body this material body which is made of blood urine stool mucus and you are having so much attachment to this body of mine if you would have a tinge of that portion of attachment towards shri krishna and his transcendental body then you would have got perfection so hearing these words shri bilva mangal thakur suddenly got a strong renunciation mood so the had prostitute prostitute whose name was chintamani she was not really an authority she was just a woman who just spoke uh, honestly but shri bilva mangal thakur he considered that simple honest statement as an instruction and he applied that in his life so we hear so many things from so many people but what is that thing which just makes a click so that is considered like an instruction that that normal st- sentence becomes an instruction if it makes the click so there are so many sadhus who has taken shelter of vrindavan they used to have so much attachment from their family and from their wife children but just by hearing one statement from one like cruel or one merciless statement from their family member or something they get some strong renunciation and they just start uh, their spiritual life very intensely but we even after having all these instructions also we are not able to really follow even after hearing upadesha amrit hearing rupa goswami's instruction we are not considering it as instruction because we do not have the strength to follow the the foundation is very weak that's why the we don't have much strength to follow all these instructions that we are getting but the example that i gave of shibilva mangal thakur there are so many other examples also in vrindavan there are so many saints they are like from big big family big big education very great education and they are doing very menial things menial things so that simple statement by someone can become an instruction for someone it depends on how much strength the hearer has how strong foundation the listener have because here shri bilva mangal thakur he was so much attached to this prostitute chintamani and being attached he heard this strong statement from her and that statement acted like an instruction and since then his life just turned upside down he just made himself blind and started walking towards vrindavan just falling here and there somehow or other trying to he doesn't even know which direction to move because he is blind now so krishna himself came he took the hand of shibilva mangal thakur and said oh baba are you are not able to see where do you want to go oh you want to go vrindavan i also want to go vrindavan i'll take you no worry as soon as this boy held the hand of shibilva mangal thakur shibilva mangal thakur was having ecstatic symptoms he was feeling so much bliss just by that touch such waves of bliss were coming in his body just by that transcendental touch so he could not really wait he could not really and then suddenly from his mouth are coming beautiful beautiful shlokas describing the glories describing the qualities describing the past times and beauty of krishna chintamani jayate somgiri first he is paying obeisances to that chintamani to that prostitute this is the instruction so whatever it is that's 
understand this that that atmagya person who is having this inquisitiveness to know about soul considering this world as a house of suffering do we really feel this world as the house of suffering no i feel that it's so nice we are getting so much enjoyment we get nice things to eat and if we don't get we just go out and buy some stuffs we celebrated diwali ram navmi so many different things now christmas also is coming the new year is gonna come we'll get so many gifts and everything so does it really look that this world is full of suffering no not now but when there comes some little renunciation then this world seems to be like the source of suffering house of suffering and then the sadhak with folded hands he starts crying he pray for that day it's like he must have an experience of some day when he must have chanted the holy name of the lord crying out of separation out of suffering so now that chanting that he had when he was suffering so much in the material life so that crying full of longing that chanting full of longing gets such a strong impression now he is remembering that oh when can i again chant that way and that chanting doesn't come generally in favorable situation that chanting comes in unfavorable situation because in unfavorable situations we have some surrender mood so oh, i'm not able to come out of it so at that time sadhak being obisense is this sansar dukh jaladasya paritasya kam akrodhaadi nakram kare kavali kritasya durvasana nigaditasya nirashya chaitanya chandra mudehi padavala chaitanya chandra mudehi padavala so the sadhak he prays sansar dukh jalado patitasya kama this sansar is the ocean of suffering it's the ocean of suffering and in this ocean what like there are so many animals of ocean like shark and big big um, wild animals also so crocodiles you know so i have actually become like a meal of these wild animals some animal is eating from that side some animal from this side so then the sadhak being in that painful situation he cries and then he prays sansar dukh jalado patasya kam so the person this atmagya person who wants to know he either by his own intelligence or by hearing proper thoughts from authorities then he observe this world full of suffering and then he takes the step of renunciation before that it is unripe for example the mata ji is the cook rice so when they check if it is cooked or not they just take one rice and checks breaks it or something just presses it and they checks that if it, the rice is really cooked or not and if one rice is cooked then it means that all the rices are cooked the whole rice pan is uh, whole rice cooked so in this way this world see the lord himself has said that this is the house of suffering this world is the house of suffering so when the ripe state comes when the person really understands and that ripe state comes then he accepts sanyas he leaves the house so you are understanding so many points are there those who are noting it down what is the first point the atmagya person means the one who is inquisitive about his soul so second point is that either by his own intelligence or by others instructions third he considers this world full of suffering now fourth is this is the most important point if we delete this then all other things doesn't make much sense what's the most important 
accepting shri hari in one's heart and for the service of shri hari rejecting the house and he accepts her name accepting shri hari in the how in the heart means for shri hari only only for the service of shri hari not for any some external circumstance or situation now this is the fourth one is the most important the fourth one there are so many uh, speakers like platform speakers who oh just by uh, their own intelligence also sometimes or uh, by some arguments from the family or from the business they just leave ah, let me just leave this let me just go to vrindavan this world is so bad they are so selfish and everything so they consider the world as full of suffering also so they may follow the first three steps but the fourth one is most important that have they really accepted shri hari in the heart and have they really taken this step only for the service of shri hari or not so this is the most deciding factor that taking sanyas for the lord not to just escape from the sufferings or to for any other reasons basically so now mahaprabhu why did he took sanyas so this was the question so i'll not answer that so the person who accepting shri hari in the heart and for the service of shri hari who is accepting sanyas he is the best of all men and those who do not do this they are the worst they are like fallen yeah anyways the person who is not doing like this yasyat ne buddhi the body is made of stool urine and all the bad things bones mass mucus considering this as everything is this everything is this body is everything so that person who considers the body everything and stays in the bodily exception is called as a donkey so but who is narottam on the other side who is the best of all humans who is the best that one who keeping hari in the heart for shri hari he is accepting sanyas renouncing and he and even to show this to show renunciation to show everything to show th- these teachings lord himself in the form of nar narayan he sat in badrinath to perform austerity and if we also perform austerity what kind of austerity remembering shri hari this is the point to be noted here now krishna arthe akhil bhogatya actually renouncing the enjoyment things the renouncing the sense gratification objects the objects of sense gratification for the service of lord why example eating rasgulla every day the doctor has said oh you have got diabetes oh really now i will not eat rasgulla i have got renunciation from rasgulla oh you have got viragya renunciation from rasgulla when you got when you got disease now because of this disease you are having renunciation whatever x y z reasons all these reasons are not true renunciation not true reason renunciation see this is something to experience in sadhan kal at the time of practice this is something we should realize when we chant properly when we serve gurudev properly then we can very clearly experience this in our life that whatever i am renouncing is that for the happiness of the lord or 
I am just doing it because of some external circumstances. If we are doing all those renunciation, all the sacrifices for the Lord, then it stays permanent. And if we are doing for any other reason except the Lord, then it will be temporary. That renunciation, that sacrifice will not go on for long time. It is only for short time because it is based on the mind, and the mind sometimes accepts, sometimes rejects, accepts, rejects, accept, reject. That's it. Just to and fro. That's why Krishna arthe akhila bhogatya, discarding all objects of sense gratification for the purpose of Lord. That's why there are so many tithis that comes in between in which the devotees, they want to do some renunciation. For example, Kartik month comes, people renounces many things. Then Gaur Purnima comes. Then Guru Purnima comes. Then Chaturmasya comes. Then Janmashtami, Radhashtami. One after another. These tithis are not going to leave anyone. A person may think, oh, let me just get relaxed a bit. And then suddenly tithis come. This is not for relax. This is not for resting. This is to make you restless. This is the festival. This is the festival of service. Festival of Vairagya. Festival of renunciation. That's why accepting Sri Hari in the heart for his purpose, rejecting the house, one accepts the sannyas. Okay, I'll give an example. So you all hear Bhagavad Katha. You must have heard this pastime of this Brahmana Atmadev. If you're not remembering, who was Brahmana Atmadev? He was the father of Gokarnaji. He's the father of Dundukari. Dundukari, in the house, he made such kind of... Uh, bad atmosphere that he used to beat his mother, he used to steal, he used to do all bad things and this Brahman Atma Dev became so sad, he wants to really leave his house just in this thing if we come out on this topic then there will be so many examples so Atma Dev came to his son Gokarn, he said what should I do in such situation? It would have been better that this Dundukari would have never taken birth. So Gokarnaji said, why are you staying in this house? You should go to the forest, father, and you should take shelter of Hari. Go and do austerity in the forest. Do Hari Bhajan. So see, Atmadev Brahman, what was the reason that he is rejecting his house? Atmadeva Brahman, seeing the unfavorable situation in the house, that the whole society is spitting on me. Because my son, he has become like a decoit. He is like a criminal, gangster. He is a dark spot to the whole ancestors. But this is not the procedure of renunciation. Who showed the procedure for renunciation? This was shown by the son Gokarn. He is saying that, oh, father, go in the forest for Shri Hari. Okay, there is another situation. Kardam Rishi. Bhagavatam, third canto. Whose son was whom? Kapil Bhagwan. Now, in the house itself came Bhagwan. So, Kardam Ji came to Kapil Bhagwan and said, Prabhu, give me order, I am going to forest. The Lord is saying, Kapil Dev is saying, what are you saying, Kardam Rishi? I have come, I am the Supreme Lord and I have come here in your house and why you are going for forest then? I repeat that. In the house of Kardam Ji, Kapil Dev, Lord Kapil took birth. When Kapil Dev took birth, so Kardam Rishi is paying obeisances to the son, Kapil Dev, saying, I'm going to forest. The so Lord is laughing. I am Hari. I have come in your house. People go into the forest for me, to attain me. And I have come in your house. So what is the point of going to the forest now? What's the point? So, 
here what kardam ji gave an answer chat prabhu in the house i am not able to really harmonize my both moods neither vatsalya mood for you nor dasya mood for you the lord said i am not understanding please elaborate so kardam rishi saying prabhu in the house i am not able to really nourish my dasya mood why because you have come in the form of my boy my son but you are the supreme hari so when i pay obeisances to you then the neighbors they see hey, what kind of father is this he is paying obeisances to his son that means i am not able to really nourish the dasya mood the service service servant mood but i am not even able to nourish my vatsalya mood also because i am not like nanda baba yashoda maiya that i'll just twist your ears take a stick to uh, like scare you no i cannot do that so you just order me i want to go to the forest so kardam ji went to the forest so here there is another move but prahlad ji also is giving the teachings to go to forest what he is saying asur var dehina tad sadhu man asur var dehina ऑडियंस it's like this procedure is very uh, tasteless it seems uh, there is screen only few are there and many do not understand hindi no now just sitting in front of the screen it seems like i'm just speaking to myself so it is true it is it should be like this also and we actually do this that we speak for ourselves we uh, when we give lecture so it's like we are making ourselves also here so this is also very nice thing that the live program is happening and we are just speaking to ourselves so it seems our oh, 90 people are sitting and hearing on the zoom 60 70 on facebook oh 150 people are sitting together they are hearing but when 150 people are really sitting physically in front then it's a very diff- different thing सो तद साधु मन्य सो प्रहलाद महाराज सैट ऑन द लैप ऑफ हिरण्य कशिपु एंड ही हैज सेड दिस दैट ओ बेस्ट ऑफ ऑल डीमंस यू डू नॉट डू दिस सिटिंग ऑन द लैप ऑफ योर फादर एंड से ए बेस्ट ऑफ डीमंस सो नाउ प्रहलाद जी इज डूइंग लाइक दिस ही इज सेइंग ओ बेस्ट ऑफ डीमंस he is denoting his father and hiranyakashipu he is getting so happy hearing this oh wow my son is saying so nicely that i am the best of all demons but the way prahlad ji is denoting is not actually in a respectful way he is actually saying that oh father you are such a demoniac because you are attached to this family life you are attached to your senses that's why what should be done vanam gatam you should go to the forest and you should meditate on hari so he spoke two things he is not just telling that go to forest he is not just telling to take sanyas it's not just the point of renunciation it's the point of doing it for what purpose if that thing is done for krishna for shri hari then that renunciation makes some sense and is justified but if hari got subtracted if the lord himself got subtracted if anything any renunciation or anything is happening with any other ulterior motive or ulterior purpose then 
it's not it's fruitless so so beautiful it has been said that those who accept sanyas keeping shri hari in the heart they are the best of all humans now it is just the starting actually it is just a warm up uh, while just understanding this line now thoughts are coming in my heart in my mind but the point is that as soon as i start warming up the time gets finished it's already almost time the actually the main problem is for the indians because for them it's 10:30 in the night everyone wants to sleep it's also winters going on there so <laughs> winters is like very sleepy as soon as the 10:30 they cross they feel like oh so drowsy the topic is going on lecture is going on it's difficult to even understand it's difficult to even leave the meeting <laughs> so i also do care for you all so we will continue this just i'm taking two more minutes see after so many days we have got this opportunity opportunity to speak with open heart actually <laughs> we just had the kartik month in kartik month there was so many parikrama but actually uh, there is very strong constraint of time in 15 20 minutes we have to speak hari katha it is such kind of restlessness comes in the heart that how to finish in 15 20 minutes and sometimes we used to really uh, break the standards or break the rules of 15 20 minutes then we used to ask for forgiveness but anyway this is the time i can speak open heartedly so we just heard uh, the instructions of pralad ji this is thing so by one's own intelligence or by hearing instructions from others understanding that this life is full of suffering and then rejecting renouncing this material life is actually sanyas so this is the same thing that pralad ji also said to his friends kauma racharit pragyo dharma bhagavatam ye durlabh manush janam jagatya no oh my friends one should start renouncing at the age of 5 itself oh prahlad what have you said the friends asked at the age of 5 this is the time to play with the toys then comes the youth and then there will be so much nice attraction to the opposite gender should have some taste of this material life as well later we will see bhakti and all prahlad ji said no कौमार आचरित प्रागो दुर्लभ मानुष्य जन्म अरे अगेन यू विल बिकम ह्यूमन वॉट इज द गारंटी ऑफ दिस यू विल गेट दिस ह्यूमन बॉडी आर नॉट इज देर एनी गारंटी सो प्रहलाद जी डायरेक्टली ही इज टॉकिंग नॉट अबाउट अटैचमेंट ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट अटैचमेंट बट आई वुड से इट इज बोथ ही इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग बोथ साइमल्टेनियसली विरक्ति एंड आसक्ति मीन्स detachment and attachment both it just depends on where we have to apply it suppose a person gave you knife and another person gave you scissor how to use it where to use it you have to understand that it is not that just take your scissor and just pick your pick pick someone's pocket or just take the knife and cut the throat of someone no it has been said that use this scissor to nicely cut the cloth and make nice dress of krishna and use the knife to cut the fruits for thakur ji and offer bhog so that's why asakti and virakti these are like two sides these are the main two things attachment and detachment there was one punjabi the devotee's name is dhanna jat he used to do farming then he became a great vaishnava now someone asked him can you teach what is the meaning of bhakti of the lord then no, no, this, this punjabi said eh this is such a small thing this is like a cake walk let me explain 
ਇੱਥੇ ਪੁੱਟੋ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਲਾ ਦੋ ਸੋ ਦ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਇਸ ਸੈਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਦਿਸ ਸੋ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਮਸਟ ਬੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਹੈਪੀ ਹੀਅਰਿੰਗ ਦਿਸ ਸੋ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਫਾਰਮਰ ਸੋ ਦੈਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਹੀ ਜਸਟ ਡੂ ਫਾਰਮਿੰਗ ਬੇਸਿਕ ਫਾਰਮਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਹੀ ਸੈਡ ਹੀ ਜਸਟ ਪਲੱਗਡ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਪਲਾਂਟ ਫ੍ਰਮ ਵਨ ਪਲੇਸ ਐਂਡ ਜਸਟ ਅਪਲਾਈਡ ਇਟ ਔਨ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਪਲੇਸ so he said that this bhakti this is the bhakti this is the so simple i just explained you so by just this simple thing he actually gave a very deep understanding he just plucked the plant from one place and applied it on the other place and then he is saying that this is the definition of bhakti what is the meaning of this is it so easy it is that just pull your attachments from here and apply those there on the other place so simple whatever attachments and the renunciation we are having in this world see we all have all of us they have different kind of attachments towards different people some have attachment for wife children family it is natural actually so now that attachment should be pulled from there and should be applied here here means towards the lord so oh, this wife is not mine this children they are not mine although they are mine they are my children only she is my wife only but because they are devotee of the lord and i am also devotee of the lord that's why i have the attachments with them keeping krishna in the center so how beautifully in such simple way he actually defined that just pull the attachment from here and apply it there so only these two things attachment and renunciation there is nothing third so that attachment should be at the lotus feet of shri hari and the renunciation also should be for shri hari then only that attachment also is perfect and the renunciation also is perfect because shri hari is in the center it is attached with shri hari so this is the mathematics so we just get we just calculated x plus 2 y plus 2 whatever it is so equal to hence proved this is the proof attachment and renunciation so all the activities those who have left the house they have similar level of renunciation similar level of detachment no we will hear further tomorrow gaur premanande hari hari bol hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare sachinandan gaur hari ki jai ho